Oh, this is fun. You guys are fun. This is wicked. This is way more fun than my day job. I, I have a day job. I know, weird. I'm, uh, I'm a small animal vet during the day. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe not after this airs. <laughs> yeah, as my mom likes to boast to her friends, he's not a real man or a real doctor. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks for that. No, this is way more fun. I, honestly, I killed so many cats last week, I might as well change my name to Curiosity. <laughs> it, was not, it was not good. This is way more fun. This is wicked. I, I have what my friends refer to as a real job, but most of my friends are comics, which means that most of my friends are potheads. <laughs> and to a pothead, a real job is any job you can't show up at work high for. Which is fair enough. I guess I could. I don't think I could pretty much done. Like, oh, oh my god, your cat! <laughs> He's so soft. Where's he going? Come back! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, this is hilarious. Oh, these cookies are dry. <laughs> Livery. This is it's delightful. I love. I do. I like. I love my day job. It's super fun. Uh, except I just wish the animals would come in by themselves. You know? I don't know why we have a big door for people. Like, why don't we just have a little doggy door to shove them through? That'd be awesome. Just a little note tucked in their collar next to the credit card. I'm like, oh, that would be so sweet. <laughs> like, I peed on the rug. I'm like, okay, we'll fix that. <laughs> I'm coughing. I'm like, all right, we can do that too. It's like, please chop off my balls. Done! <laughs> But they bring people with them, and that's where it all falls apart. I had someone bring in a litter of kittens that they found in the garbage. I know, what is wrong with people? You don't throw kittens in the garbage, it's disgusting. Don't you know they go in the composter? What's wrong with you? No environmental awareness at all. How big is your carbon footprint? What's wrong? No, I, uh, I had this couple in, and uh, nice couple, really nice. They, they put on their best tracksuits to come down. <laughs> you know, they brushed their tooth. It's very exciting. <laughs> and the only reason they were there, the, the only reason they came in, was they wanted to know if their cat was gay. That was it. <laughs> Why are you asking me? I don't understand. <laughs> he didn't put up much of a fight when I took his temperature, but that... <laughs> doesn't mean anything. I think maybe naming him Mr. Pussypaws is kind of gay, but that is your fault. That is your fault. Like, are you gonna love him any less? That'll be 50 bucks. Thank you very much. People are crazy. People are crazy about their pets. All day long, I have to hear people like, my cat's the best, my dog's the best. I'm like, my dog's the best. My dog's awesome. And this guy going on about his cat, he's like, she's so smart. I'm like, okay, it's a cat. Relax. He's like, no, he does tricks. She does tricks. I'm like, well, she's just sitting there. Unless breathing is a trick. I'm not that impressed. He's like, no, my cat is so smart. My cat could be in Mensa. My cat is so smart. My cat could be a seeing eye cat. <laughs> Who is that for? The laziest blind person on the planet? <laughs> like, how's your seeing eye cat? He's like, oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, we spent half the day in the sandbox. It was fun. <laughs> And then we crawled up on the fridge for eight hours. That was awesome. <laughs> See a flaw in your plan, mister. <laughs> Delish. I'm, uh, I'm gonna end with a little story, a little delicious story, of the day I decided I didn't want to be a large animal vet. Because that's what they divide you up in, in vet school. You, uh, you're either the large, which is everything you could eat or ride. <laughs> Pretty much, so like cows and horses and pigs. Yeah. You can ride a pig. <laughs> you have to hold on really tight. You can do it. Some of you might be riding pigs later on tonight. I'm just saying. <laughs> Make wise drinking choices. Be smart. And then the small animal vets, we get everything else. So uh, that's super fun. All I care about is the cats and dogs. I honestly don't care about anything else. But that's it. But I would like to share a little story of the day I decided I did not want to be a large animal vet. And it was uh, second year of vet school, winter, 
everyone gets assigned a cow <laughs> so that you can, and this is a verb, rectal it. <laughs> yeah. Someone in the distant mists of time discovered you can learn a lot of interesting stuff about lady cow parts by ramming your arm up their bum. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the first people that did it were drunk and probably Scottish. <laughs> Seems like something they would do. <laughs> so I went to meet my cow and she was a beautiful Holstein Frisian cross named 42781. <laughs> I was like, hey, hi. And it was kind of awkward, because I'm like, well, it's been a while since I've been with a lady. <laughs> so I got her some hay. I'm like, there you go. That's dinner. <laughs> Apparently you owe me at this point. <laughs> From what I understand. And then, uh, then oh, you had to be safe, guys. Safety first. Delicious. I'm not going in bare arms. That's gross. Ow. And then you like, you also, you glove up and then you get this like huge bottle of lube and you just like lube up your arm and then all my classmates are like, oh, this will be easy for you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I'm in there and I am deep I am like shoulder deep and I'm feeling around. I'm like, okay, that's that, that's that. I am totally getting an A. I am so amazing at this. I could do this all day long. And then I'm just getting ready to pull out. When I felt this weird sensation of movement. Like way down on my little fingertips. And I'm like, oh, ah, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> they didn't tell us what to do if this happens. And I figured I have two choices. I could try to like hold it off, be like, no, 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 stop it, stop. Ugh. Or I could try to race it out. In which case my face is still like this far from a cow's ass. It's not a good place to be. So as I'm trying to figure out which is the so they're trying to figure out which is the better option. I feel this pocket of methane. Just ever so casually traveling down my arm. Okay, can we talk about farts just for a second? Just, so like to get like a rich, rooty tooty, like roof rattling, applause worthy fart, you need two things. You need some air, we'll just call it air. It's fine. And you need two bits of flesh just flapping in the breeze. <laughs> so as I'm trying to figure out what to do, this pocket of gas comes traveling down, and as it escapes, half of the cow's ass vibrates against my naked <laughs> bicep. <laughs> and I became half of one of the loudest cow farts in history. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You want me to do this every day? I don't think so.